hey guys welcome to another video today we will be making well i will be making i don't know who else is around me for me to be saying we but i'll be making some tacos using the famous brand taco bell so you know it's quality products in this bag right this little foil thingy has um the soft shells in the box there are some hard shells if you can see these are the sauces and little seasonings and stuffies that came in it was well packaged trust me this is one of the sauces it had everything except for like the grown seasoning that you'll need and of course the toppings that you have to put together for yourself and of course the meat but yeah you get the gist i hope you enjoy follow all the instructions i did not um, speak in this video so i'm having to do a full-on voiceover that's the beef by the way you can get that in the supermarket um i don't want to tell you my supermarket because i don't want to go running into people as well as i don't want when i go for stuff they're no longer there so just go to your supermarket ask them if they have ground beef and get that these things i also got in the supermarket no they did not come together and if you look close enough it comes from the other brand of taco that i like to use however when i saw this taco bell i had to try it i don't think i've lie metal i've had taco bell overseas before i've had it in minnesota was it yes and here we go so i turn on the stove i added no oil this is all from this meat so you don't need to add oil i'll tell you that much in fact i'll have to throw off and you will see from this so it wasn't fully defrosted but i was very much hungry and this was about like seven in the night um after putting it to defrost for some time uh so i just went on with it and allowed the rest to um defrost in the pot yeah here we go so it will change color as you should know once heat touch meat then it develops this brownish fadish looking and here's my favorite seasoning which is cayenne pepper which is good for your stomach and all of that especially when you're eating meat after certain hours well generally when you're having food ensure that you put some cayenne pepper on it it's there's so much benefit nutrition nutritional benefit from this that you need to be taking into your body this is ginger i believe yeah this is my ginger packet um i need to add a lot of this because of course it's meat you want to have a lot of flavor bursting of flavor when you're eating your tacos and trust me i did it properly yes uh this is the black pepper my if you are in any kitchen you should be able to pick this up without me telling you so you add your little black pepper i'm going step by step so please appreciate it guys and go ahead and try it if you don't get the same taco bell um brand there is the i don't remember it but you could see it on one of those thingies a while ago um it's a yellow box yeah with with taco stuff in there it's pretty good um it's the first i'm seeing a taco bell that's why i took it up i decided that i want to see what was in it this is garlic powder can't go wrong with garlic in anything and if i'm cooking for you there's always going to be garlic in there garlic from powder to the natural herby garlic right organic business then we are going to stir and stir and stir you cannot get enough stirring in ensure that it's being spreaded across the meat so that the bursting of the flavors on top of this heat oh my god i'm hungry again oh trust me and this this was one pack of meat as you saw initially and let me tell you up to wednesday well i didn't touch it tuesday let me tell tuesday night was when i finished it oh this is a um just a bag seasoning that i found on the shelf in the supermarket and realized that it's so good you will also see me using it at the end of the video when i give you a little preview of my seasoning up for the christmas so yeah I, this was before 
Christmas, just a little bit before Christmas, that I did these tacos. It's even having me think that I may want to do like tacos on Christmas, but I don't, I'm not too sure at what point um, throughout that dining experience you'd have taco. I don't think that would mess with the tradition. Yeah, here goes the sauce that came into the box. It's mild, so I went in and added some of my own sauce that I found on the shelf, which is this little pasty paste. It's also mild, so you will see me add some heat via other sources because, of course, I don't understand why everything was saying mild. I don't even know when I picked this up off the damn shelf because i don't do mild i'm a spicy ass lady so here i am mixing it in mixing it in can you just see how the ground beef is coming together oh my god this looks beautiful 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 here goes my taco stuffing coming together but you want to mix it in just keep rolling it over roll over the fork or whatever you're using whether you're using a spatula fork or a spoon whichever is in your kitchen ensure that you you, you mix it well hear me now creating my little peak of the gala if you know what's up you know what's up if you do make tacos or if you have tacos you'll know what i'm making here I'm a sucker for taco. Like, <laughs> whenever I feel it, I normally go to Chilitos. So shout out to Chilitos for having the best taco aside from my own kitchen. Right, because I've tried it at different places and oh, they don't have a clue. <laughs> I won't even call their names here. But yeah, here is my cheese, my Mexican blend cheese and my lettuce properly diced up um so in my pico de gallo what i've included i've included minced up garlic minced up onion because i really really love onion i don't know for anybody else but i love onion and garlic so i have minced up onion minced up um garlic i also have some what do you call it um means of kind of means of sweet pepper tomatoes i think that's just about it i think that's just about it yeah that's just about it right so this is oh so this that you're looking at in this little container here is my guacamole sauce so good when i tell you so good so good and this is the queso sauce just in case you need it for quesadillas that's that sauce it says sauce i'm the sauce boss trust me i had a time like i could not believe that i was not at a um taco bar having some here is the soft shell from the foil type bag believe me when i tell you i think at that point i was probably getting the uh, meat from the pot into it before i come back over here and do the stuffing just to be certain because i don't want to preempt the video but i didn't realize some of the time that i had yeah exactly what i was doing I didn't realize that some of the time I didn't um, turn off the camera but yeah pretty much what I was doing so here am I adding the um, pico de gallo some cheese the Mexican mix so you know it's perfect for this because tacos if you know you know it's a whole Mexican thing I can't wait to visit Mexico to actually taste the roots. <laughs> I know it must be very good. I can't. I think I'll just if I when 
that's not if when i visit mexico it's going to be um all tacos i i don't want nothing else to eat but tacos well other than other mexican stuff i don't want nothing that i've had in america dom rep where else have i been cayman curacao i've been traveling am i the only one oh that here has it is so seasoning this my is for christmas my christmas dinner i prep. like when things are seasoned to the yeah, bone seasoning the meat so, so this I've is from the of course and mixed um, in my powder mixtures you. so i'm gonna bag the these up of december put them back in the freezer and, and christmas is today the is the 10th so you understand what kind of, of december Marinade. Imagine basically. what this will taste like. You and I'm about understand. to get some more meat, so I'm just stocking them the out. The taste of this or the For smell now. and the smell of this when the heat hit it. Merciful. So you didn't get to see the powder For all those who don't get to ever taste the it. other so meats. Did them in batches. So luckily, you know, so I'm about to add about, my blended you know? mixture. Very excited, yes, this. everybody. Again, the lobster, the this, the that, and I saw where I'm gonna get some more meat. The pork is not here. So continue watching my channel.